Well, guys, as we do on big milestones, today's anniversary is giving people here in Ferguson a chance to take stock, evaluate how much or how little has changed here in the years since Michael Brown was shot and killed not too far from here. To that end, we had a chance to talk with Captain Ron Johnson, the man who's really emerged as a voice. It's something we asked him about during a one on one interview just a few minutes ago. But first, let's talk about the events here today. Hundreds turned out for this memorial at the site where Michael Brown was shot. There was also a vigil and a parade and a four and a half minute period of silence meant to symbolize the roughly four and a half hours. Brown's body remained on the street as police investigated on that day one year ago. Brown's family spoke at this morning's memorial, pleading for calm and also pushing for more to be done. It's something I asked Captain Johnson about during a one on one interview a short time ago. You know, with anniversaries, we kind of take stock. What have you learned over the last year? You know, how much um, show people patience, we show each other respect, and if we have understanding of how diverse our nation is, and that we should embrace that. If we embrace diversity and differences, we'll be better for it. Now, the past two nights, there have been protests on the street here, and last night, a man was shot down in the parking lot over there, a police car's back window also shot out. Coming up at 5.30, I asked Captain Johnson about safety and security going into tonight. We're live in Ferguson, Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News.